Hi, this is Kirk Scotus from Trustworthy. This is part two of my conversation with Frank Eliason from Comcast. It, now you have to adjust for the super savvy customer service uh, looking person who, is, uh, who, who sees DM as a sign of fear. In other words, if, if, if you take it there, they're thinking, oh, you're, you're trying to, you know, quiet me or anything like I've that. I've never had any incident like that, to be honest with you. Uh, and I wouldn't even say it's savvy people that are going to these spaces. Yeah, I'm going to use Twitter as an example, but we can you know, go on Facebook and talk the same mm -hmm. thing. Twitter asks a question, what's happening? What they're putting out there is what's going on in their life right now, uh, using Comcast for an example. I'm about to call Comcast because they didn't call us yet. Right. In fact, I would say 75% or more, depending on the day, I've seen 90%, uh, never contacted us before. Uh, and so, you know, by that information that they're answering, they'll still do that whether they're calling or not. Right. And so by saying, hey, you don't have to call, I can help you. Can I help? Mm -hmm. they, it kind of gives them a whole new means of communication, which it's in a place they already know and love. Do you ever find that you uh, reach out after a case like that and then get nothing? Oh, yeah. Quite often, actually. Really? Yeah. In fact, I would say um, on any given day, we probably re you know reply to 1,200 people, and we might only engage in conversation with about two or 300. Wow. Um, and, you know, there's a variety of factors for it. Uh, sometimes it's simply because some people actually don't pay attention to their app replies. Right. Um, you know, some, and they're just trying to, and those individuals are just broadcasting a message out, not engaging the dialogue. Right. Uh, the other times it's actually sometimes, believe it or not, it's spam. I don't understand why. Uh, I don't quite understand all the spam that we see in, in um, in Twitter, but we know it's there. But you know, a lot of people will mention Comcast because they know we're out there, right. and that we'll respond to maybe I don't know sharing their information with our followers. I don't know why, right. uh, but we do look at their you know all their discussions, and we say, go, yeah, that's probably what it is. But right. we still reply anyway. That's great. And you mentioned your team. How big is your team now? For my digital care efforts, so I have other responsibilities, but my digital care efforts is 10 people plus one manager. And I can go give you some numbers of what we deal with. Um, now, the vast majority of work we deal with is actually email. People that found our email address online and wanted help. So they do email us at we underscore can underscore help at cable.comcast.com. Sorry it's so long. Um, but, you know, the fact is... You know, we get seven, well, now it's 7,000, it's probably on its way up to 8,000. Every few months it goes up about 1,000, um, you know, emails a month. Now, besides that, we're involved in forums throughout the Internet, which, by the way, we handle forums different than, say, a Twitter. Forums, you don't see us publicly, uh, and that's because in forums it's peer helping peer, and so we don't want to interfere with that. Uh, we will help. But you know, usually it will be a private message, and we won't actually engage if it's something we think that the peer groups can help with, unless they don't respond to them in a certain period of time. Uh, you know, then blogs. Now blogs, we, you know, a lot of times we just call the person. Uh, if we can't call, we may email. Our third choice is actually post on the blog. So it's interesting, and other companies will have a whole different viewpoint, and they'll they'll actually engage right in the comments. Uh, we typically take the other two first, but part of that is we need certain information to get the account, um, so that's why we prefer those means. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, there's about six to 10,000 blogs a day that mention Comcast. Now the vast majority of those have a Comcast.net email address and nothing to do about Comcast. But I refuse to minus that out because I don't want to miss one. Uh, you know, Facebook has been growing in the number of posts that we get there. And you know, there is a challenge to reaching out on Facebook simply because they do block for spam if you reach out to people you don't know. Um, so we reach out to certain people each day, uh -huh. and we're currently working with them, so hopefully we come up with some good solutions. Awesome. And you said, I think before, you guys do zero promotion. No. Uh, our goal is to meet customers where they already are and not send customers to a place that they're not comfortable right. with. Right, right. And speed, I mean, speed is... I'm all about speed. Do you have, so, so what's, your, what's your best response time to a tweet, let's say? 
A minute? Oh, no, seconds. Seconds? Uh, you know, uh, one person tweeted me the other day, they got a response in four seconds. Uh, and I is Facebook or blogs Facebook's different? Facebook's a little longer because mm -hmm. we have to choose who we're going to reach out to. Right. Uh, blogs, within 24 hours, we're usually there. Um, you know, so it does vary by space, but places mm -hmm. like Twitter, it, you know, for me, it's all about. Do speed. you think for other companies, would you recommend that there's a minimum, like Twitter, within the hour, within 24 you, you, hours? You want to do it? No, you don't want to go 24 hours. In 24 hours, a tweet is stale. Yeah. Uh, a tweet's actually stale within three hours. So if you're not going to respond in three hours, chances are, if you respond after that, it's meaningless. So, uh, you know. As a brand, we do try to respond very quickly, and we find it, you know, the quicker you are, the better you are. And you said three hours, it's meaningless. Is it, could, could it also backlash? It took you, them five hours yeah, to it, get back it, to me. It can backlash. Now, I'm not going to sit and say there's not times, but they should be reasonable times. Uh, so our hours of operation on Twitter is 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday, uh, Eastern Time, and on Saturday and Sunday, it's 8 to 5. People usually understand, you know, if they tweet on a Sunday night and they'll get the response till Monday morning, they're usually cool about it. Now, at the same time, I usually hop on on those after hours and still respond to some people. Uh, but, you know, I think that, you know, if it's a normal business operation hours, the ex expectation is that it's pretty quick.